happen here. Now, you see how my foot is stapling, okay, Corey's leg? Now, I'm doing that staple so he can't half guard me. But if Corey's kind of a, uh, a, a pretty flashy guy and he just shoots his right, le his right leg straight really hard, bam, he can half guard me. And then now I'm stuck, okay, on top. So, I also too don't want us to look at the bottom of half guard as a defensive position. We can, nobody ever, nobody never said you can't attack from the bottom, okay? So we'll just start right here, our first drill. I'm literally just gonna push a knee down, just like this, and then I, from the top, I'm gonna get his head, just like this, and then he's gonna stop me in the half guard. Good, just like that. So, I'm, and now, like I said, today's, today's theme is flat. So I already have him flat, all right? And I'm hanging out right there, okay? Now, once we get to here, Corey's first move, just to keep this drill flowing, is he's gonna take his outside leg, he's gonna overhook my leg, so he overhooks it, he's gonna now bring his hand in front of my face, he's gonna frame, and now from here, he's gonna give me a little bump, bop, he's gonna shrimp to the guard, bring it back, locks me back up, here I push this knee down, I come in, I lock him down, bam, he switches that overhook. Now this leg right here is super important. Does everybody see this overhooking leg? He has to take this leg and overhook. Now from there, he can start framing into my face. Boom, wiggle that knee in, and then lock it back up. Okay, so this is just our basic rebar from half guard. Okay, so let's make that happen 10 and 10 as our warm up. One, two, three, go. And half guard. So he's already smushing me. Now, the other thing is too, see his knee on the floor? I'm flat on my back. This knee right here is on the floor, okay? So, with that knee being on the floor, I, he wants to keep this pressure hard. He wants to turn his hip, see how that knee pops right there? And we're gonna be talking about all of this today, okay? So for now, the first thing is, is just understanding my position. Now, in the, in the beginning, we, we'll lock our leg up like a figure four, right? See how my leg's locked up? As you get higher in rank, if Corey disengages, sits up, and he can literally attack that leg with, a, with an e board because it's just sitting pretty. So if he like right there steps over the top, boom, he's already got the leg, pop, there it is. Because my leg is locked like this. White belt level, you can't do that. Blue belt level, you can't do that. According to rules of sport, right? But I don't give a shit, you're gonna learn all of it, okay? So here, I like to, when a guy's especially got this smush on me, okay, with my hands, first thing is I'm gonna cup the shoulder, I cup his neck, and I just drop my elbows. Put all your pressure on me. That's just a hold, okay? Now, we see how his knee came up still? Because I had any pressure on his leg. Now what I want you to do is go, now put all your pressure on me. That's just making it miserable for him, okay? Because I'm making him miserable. Now, as all this happens, now this foot too might get tucked. Anybody that's good, now in other systems, you'll see this happen. Now put all your pressure on me. You can't, that's what they call the lockdown in head planet, right? So guys that are good, they're gonna tuck that foot. So I'm gonna be here like this, and I'm gonna be, you see how my knee here finds the foot, and I start pushing it, and I just kinda do that until my foot's locked in. Now that my foot's locked over, I'm just kinda pulling him down, and if his arm's around my neck, here, I'm gonna start pulling his bicep away. Bicep away, hand in front of the face, my elbow to his thigh, I get right to here. Now you see I got one hook in, one hook out. This is an overhook, this is an underhook. This is an underhook. So this leg is over the leg, this arm is over the arm. This is hooked and this is hooked. So now here I'm gonna pull it and hit my sweep right to the mouth. So you don't have to shrimp full to the guard, because every time you try to shrimp to the guard, your foot gets stuck. Well, let's take advantage of your foot being stuck. Does that make sense? So the little tidbit before the sweep is just how to control them, stop them from advancing on us. Does that make sense? So you hug their shoulder, you hug their neck, kind of pull it down a little bit, put your foot on their calf until that foot slides over, right? And then start dealing with the arm Get your posture, get your posture, and then just do that little hip wiggle, right? So this is just from being flat. Here I am, I'm already flat, and I feel this pressure. 
So I'm immediately attacking here and here and here. So I'm just keeping that pressure, and I'm straightening his leg. See that? And I start to hook that. All right? Now, if you wanted to do this, you could. I'm not a huge fan of it, but, um, but it's there. Now, from here, I got that position. I start getting this posture, and I'm holding this. Get some frames. Get my hook in. Boom. There's my hook. Now, this is a pull to 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock. This hook is a pull 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock. This elbow just drops. So I literally just pull. But you see how I'm pulling with my knee to my face? Bam. And then kick and extend. And then from here, I'm on the mount. Pick a position in the side. Don't go flat like this. Get off the spine. And just hang tight for a second. Okay? Everybody see what, see what I'm doing? All right, let's do that. One, two, three, go. That's what I'm going to show. And then we're going to spar. Okay? So now, here we are. We're in the half guard. He's got me flat just like this, okay? Now, depending upon, and, and remember, today's theme is his knee is down. See his knee, okay? So now, too, if he's more compact to me, where his, this knee's actually touching me, and he's actually like squeezing me really tight from the top, boom, okay? So now what's gonna happen is, is like, can he really, is he really doing anything to me right now? No, he can't choke me, he can't submit my arms, because his hands are clasped together. So what I'm going to do is, when he's hugging me like this, I'm going to just go elbows to the mat. I'm blocking this knee and I'm blocking this elbow. Okay? My first move, now which way is his pressure? It's probably going to be that way. So as he's killing me with this shoulder right here, now you notice my feet, they're not locked up. I'm literally just butterfly feet, hanging tight. All I want you to do, pinch your chicken wings, and then turn your knees. And this is the dumbest sweep ever. But it totally works. Especially when the dude wants to punch you in the face. Okay? So, I'm diving in. Hands are clasped. I'm giving him the business with pressure. He's pinching his feet together. His knees, his thighs and his knees are pinched. And his elbow, his elbow is pinching my elbow to his body. So I just trapped my arm. And then from there, he too could hug his head with his other hand. So that right there, now, don't let me have my hands back. <laughs> because we're preventing damage from a self-defense perspective, right? Um, and then from a sport perspective, we're stopping them from, from, uh, from uh, finishing their position of cutting to the mount or passing the side control. Does that make sense? So. The, the theme is, is cut as you are cut. Whatever they're doing to you from the top, do it from the bottom. Pinch them and don't let them have their arms back. Because that creates a sensation of them wanting to pull away. Because they're like, well, wait a minute, I'm on top attacking you, and now I feel vulnerable. Does that make sense? So go in, top guy, smash, clench your hands together, bottom guy, pinch the elbow, hug your head, knees are pinched, and literally the detail on this is this foot. Watch what I'm doing to his heel. Here, this leg over the top. So this would be my traditional hand guard. This right here, see how um, even if he's tucking his foot, hook his foot. See right there? I don't want him to let have that leg back to be able to extend it. So by me just finding that leg and pinching it to his butt, pinching my thighs, just like this, and you know if he's got gi on or pants or whatever, I'm just like that. Try to get away from me. And I'm literally just leaving my hands. I'm pulling that leg with my hand. And it will roll right over. Ask Mike Presnell. Mike Presnell hit this in a tournament. Because I told him exactly what to do on the spot. And that was the sweep that got him on top for the win. And it totally works. And it's solid. Okay? And it's a good position to, if somebody is trying to beat you up, of holding and you can just roll them right over and take no damage. All right, let's do it. One, two, three. We're here, he's got me flat, he's got lots of pressure that way, right? And his hands are clasped together. Now, I'm doing this, okay, right? And I take my heel to his leg, find this leg, and I pinch. And I just, and two, you'll notice my head, watch my head go from 12 o'clock to one. But I just engage, and it's super dumb. 
Cut. So that's that one. Boom. So now, as I try to take him that way, how do you think he's going to respond? He's probably going to post his hand, right? So I'm going to try and go like this way. Boom. There's that. See my hand right here by his neck? Now we're going to go back and he's going to try to push me back. Now stop. Boom. My head is now going to curl and crunch and I'm going to use my shoulder to hold it. Pull your arm up. So I'm trying to keep his arm pinned. Now as so as I go this way and he posts his hand, I come back. Highest point of leverage is his head. My free hand now blocks his knee. I post and I come over to the top. Okay? So this is a setup, like a jab cross, right? So we're here. He's got my position. I feel the pressure going this way. Boom. I'm hugging my head. I feel I try to, to make it work. Boom, he posts. He pushes back. I time it. This is what they call the chop sweep. So this hand chops the head. I'm not here on the neck. I'm there. This hand goes down to find his leg. What I don't want him to do here is post his leg. Like push your leg up like that. I don't want him doing that. So when I feel this, I'm trapping that. So you can't post. I post this foot and I bump and I kick over the top. Okay, and I land. Once I land too, I'm gonna put the brakes on by taking my knees or my feet to the ceiling. Okay, that puts the brakes on. Because he can do the same thing back. So you see how I'm just, and so I might even like position down a little bit. So you can hear my head right there. The worst, the spine is fine, he's got me. But I get my spine out of alignment for a second just to kind of control him. Boom, same thing. Does this make sense? So this is called the chop sweep, but based off of the failure of our first rollover. Because they're gonna post. And we have to know the counter. So when they pose, boom, they're not just gonna techniques. So he's got me locked up. Now, just to give you guys clarification, if we just start here, and let's say I chop him that way. See that hand? Now he's, what is he gonna do? He's gonna come back and grab my neck again. Uh-uh, I just blocked it. So that's an opener. Or I try to take him this way and he posts. Boom, he comes back, I hit him with the chop. And we're there, right? Or our next technique, which we'll follow up next week, is gonna be this. I'm gonna take him that way, right? He posts, but the problem is, is he doesn't come back. He just keeps the post. So you see my hand is just hanging out here. So instead of being up here on his head, I'm gonna come down here and bring him back to come out the back door. Because he did nothing. Because in fighting, I told you there's a push and a pull. Guess what's in the middle? Nothing. So people will respond three ways. They'll push, they'll pull, or they'll do nothing. So on that post, he did nothing. He didn't come back with his weight or his energy, so I just kept moving. I'm not gonna sit around and wait. Does that make sense? So we wanna understand all this stuff. So, our, so let's stop for a second, and let's just recap. We started from half guard. They're putting pressure on us. Our first technique was overhook the leg, shrimp to the guard. Our second technique was to stop them from pressuring us, overhook the leg, we shrimp to the guard, but my foot got stuck. So with it being stuck, let's just make a lemonade out of some lemons and hit them with a sweet, right? Our next one was is he kept a lot of pressure on me. And two, let's look at this, right here. He dives the half guard. Whoosh, boom. So that was the next one. Or we were stuck here. He's locking me down. I lock him down. I get that leg position. I hit him with the sweep. Boom. It worked great. That was that next one. Now I go to do it again. He's like, I don't want to get swept again. So he pulls his arm out. Boom. He pushes back. I hit him with the chop. And that was today's session. And that's a lot of moves. Very simple, but we were, we were what we call flat. My back was flat the whole time and his knees were on the floor, okay? Because our next, when we get into next week, we're gonna start seeing more of him pressuring me and trying to start the passing game. And then we're gonna learn how to deal with that. Does anybody have any questions? I try to keep this as simple as possible, okay? So now what I'd like you to do, if you need to get a quick sip, 
We're gonna just start, we're gonna uh, spar a little bit, but it's gonna be isolated sparring, meaning the top guy is just gonna kinda like, they're not gonna, they're gonna pressure into maybe like 50%, because I want the bottom guy to be able to work. And the top guy, you know, if you get your arm trapped, you get rolled over, or if they pull their arm out and post, you hit the other sweep. And it, or two, like another thing that could happen here, watch this, is I try to take him to chop this way, and he posts his leg. Bam! Just strip. That leg's right there. Right, you see what I did? See, his leg came up. So, Post this hand, post that hand, post that foot, or post this foot. And that's it. Cool? So, one minute break, and then we're gonna do some one minute rounds. Just start. So our next drill is, we're gonna start in the lockdown, and I'll go chop sweep into him to get a post. I'm gonna get posture to an underhook. Then stop, then he's gonna lock me back down again. Then I'm gonna go chop sweep the other way, I'm gonna get a post and then I'm gonna get an underhook. So this is an underhook development drill, okay? So it's gonna go like this. So he's got me dead to right, so I'm right here. So my first move, okay, he's got pressure into my neck, so I'm gonna go that way. I'm gonna take my legs, I'm gonna like whip him, and I'm, you know, trapping his elbow. I'm trying to do the sweep. Then from here, boom, underhook. Brings it back. Now, I'm gonna take him that way. Walk the bicep, shave the head, frame, get the underhook. Now, the underhook, when I shave the head right to here, boom, I just tuck my elbow. See my elbow right here? I just tuck it, and then I turn it up. I'm not down here on the belt. If I go down on the belt, he can wizard me. See right to there, and then he's got me back. So when I get to here, I'm up. Now wizard me, okay? And two, I'm pinching my shoulder to my ear. His shoulder just happens to be in between. Go ahead, right to there, okay? That's all I want you to do for this drill. So you bump them, you get the underhook. It's reset, bump them the other way, get the underhook, okay? Because our next sweep is gonna be the underhook sweep, or it's gonna be a back kick. But you can't take your back unless you got an underhook, all right? So let's get good at that first, all right? One, two, three. So we'll go first one. Now, I don't want to slow momentum down. So he's probably gonna put more a lot of shoulder pressure. So that pressure's gonna be going that way. So when that happens, I'm hugging onto him, I start trapping his elbow. I'm pushing into him a little bit. As I push into him a little bit to get this momentum, I start to take him. He posts his hand. Boom. As he's posting his hands, I'm making sure my knees are pinching real tight because he's gonna push back. When he does, my hand's down here, and I'm gonna start getting this underhook and pulling him up. As this happens, I take one leg, I'm gonna chop this thing down, and this hand, I'm gonna pull my elbow out, okay? As I pull my elbow out, I'm coming up. Now from here, I'm in like a back, and back take position, okay? So from here, get on your elbows. So from here, climb up, grab the wrist, I'm in like a three-point stance, I do a little pull over the top, right into my rear naked choke, okay? And then you'll switch with the other person and then they'll do that move. Then we go back to the, then we go to the second move, which is I'm chopping him this way. Lock the bicep, shave the head and frame. Come up, come underneath. Now, when I do this, I'm not hugging the hip, I'm hugging high, okay? And then I'm just like this, I'm gonna do my ax kick, and I'm gonna pull this elbow out. Coming out, elbows. Same move. See here? Right to there, post, get the hook in, pull this, all the way over the top. Boom. Okay? So those are, those are our two 
with the back knee from the underhook, and we're learning to get the underhook from both sides. Okay? All right? Give it a check. One, two, three, go. So look, so however I get to it, it doesn't matter if, it doesn't matter if I chop them this way, boom, frame, frame. Now from here, you'll see me kind of like, my knees are pinched and I'm holding his uh, thigh really tight. Cause when I like get my underhook, I don't want to just get my underhook like this and just stay like that. See right there? I want to suck it in like I'm uh, like uh, I'm going back in my turtle shell. Okay. And then from here, I'm going to push with this hand. I'm going to pull with my legs, right? Right to there. Now, as I'm trying to wiggle out the back door, he's probably going to hug my head because that's the only thing he's really got. See how he's hugging my head? So when that happens, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull and roll. Does that make sense? Now, I'll show a couple, uh, so now if I go this way, boom, I come back. I start coming underneath. See, we're already in a headlock. Now, if he's holding me tight, okay, you see how my hips are out here? I have to start bringing my hips underneath him. Does that make sense? And then I'm out. Frame, and then I'm on the top of half up. Okay? Now, that's, I'll show one more variation. I'm gonna let you guys figure it out. So the thing is, is because I hipped out, my hips are here, his hips are here. If I wanna roll him over the top of me, I have to bring me underneath him because I'm not gonna be strong enough to pull him over the top of me. So I'm gonna give you a little, uh, little training wheel that's gonna be helpful if they're wearing a gi, okay? So let's go back to the first entry. Boom, block, frame, I'm here, okay? And I'm trying to come underneath. So I take this hand that's on the bicep and I just start pushing his lapel right to there. See that? Now from here, all I do is I pull and I bring my hips underneath. See, and that pulls that shoulder right to there. And then you're up, okay? Which is a, just a fun little I mean, if it's there, you can use it. Nobody never said you couldn't, okay? So that's gonna be our next one. So you do the entry as you're going out the back door, they're gonna put you in a headlock and they're gonna stop you. So now you just hold, bring your hips underneath, roll them back over the top of you. If they have the lapel, feed it, roll yourself, take yourself underneath, roll them over the top of you. Cool? All right, let's do it. Everybody does, okay? But the other thing too is I can facilitate when I'm training or fighting somebody, I can force you to grab my head just by how I grab you. So, because even in like wrestling stand up, if I come up and just underhook Corey right here, see this and I hug his hip, he can wizard me all day long. He's taught me, he can control me all day long. But just by me doing this to here like that, he ain't got anything else to grab except my head and I forced him to grab my head. See what I'm saying? So now when we lay down in the half guard, which is identical, right? Here he's got me locked up and I do this to him. I use this all the time. By just doing that clamp, that makes him grab my head, okay? So now here, if he grabs my head and he like sprawls, and you see how he's keeping his weight over here? You see that? All I do is I just frame the face and just start coming out the back. That's if he stays there. I'm anticipating him to shut down this back take because I'm coming like this. I'm anticipating him to try to put pressure on me. See that right there? That's where we get the roll. Because he pushed back into it. Because this is the open door. Does that make sense? So now, what's the next move? As he pushes back into me, and I try to take him, he posts with his hand. Oh, look at that. We go back. Kick him back out, you're out the back door again. Because he's gonna do it, he has to. Or his ass gets rolled over. So we just went back to the first move, which was the back take. 
See what I'm saying? So now, if he puts his belly chest down, you just muscle up and climb out his back door and frame into his face and do just a basic headlock escape. If he stays center line to you, right, you roll his ass over. And then if you go to roll him and he posts his hand, that's fine. You just go back the other way and go back out the back door. And you're doing the, the same stuff. And it's literally, like I said, it's Nintendo. You just A, B, and him. Okay, but the thing that, that the, the research of today is about understanding every little opportunity, every little tick. Because I could be jumping straight to deep half guard right now, but there's so many little things that are happening. I'm trying to break them down for what's going to happen. And if you look at the concepts of he um, holds on to me or he posts his hands, right? Well, that same principle or concept is in the mount. It's in side control. It's in the guard. He either holds on to me or he posts his hand. That's pretty much it for now, for the, for the concepts that we're trying to project, okay? So, we started from where? Him holding on to me. I forced him to post his hand. Now I get to here. Now, as I go to do the back take, if I just scoop hard, I'm going to force him to post his hand again. Boom, and then I'm out. We did that. Well, here, he knows that. So now he holds on. Oh, he holds on. So I just start moving again. And I roll his ass over, right? But after we've done that a couple times and I go to roll him, oh, he posts his hand again. And I just take him back out again. So you're just playing this game of him either holding on to you or him posting his hand. And that's the theme for today. Does this make sense? So now go through. Get the underhook, um, you try to, and uh, they hug your head, you try to roll them, they post, throw them back, get them to post on the other side, and come out the back door. All right? Go. Come up. Okay? So, we're here like this. We're flat. Both of his knees are on the floor. One of his first moves is this knee comes to my hip, and that knee comes up. See that? And everybody's going to be like holding on for dear life on this leg, okay? So, one more time. So, what I try to do <laughs> is I put my heels on the back of his knee and I lift and I bump. Because I know that knee has to come up for him to pass, okay? Because I know the other side of the chest board. So, what I do is I'll keep this inside one. That's the, that's the important one. As this starts to happen, I start to feel his pressure rise on me a little bit, and his hips start to drop. I feed that hook. Then I slide this foot down, and then I pull. Now, try to get to it. I own his leg. Now, too, he's hugging my head. As he's hugging my head right there, I'm pinning my head to the mat. Try to pull your arm out. No, oh, no. So I got his leg and his arm. Now from here, all I do is I open and I go back to my chop sweep. This move to me is like the best. Because I know when he half guards me, besides all the pressure pushing that way, driving his shoulder into me, that that inside knee is gonna pop. Because his basic, most fundamental pass is this, watch. Go ahead, he turns on his side, boom, he cuts it to the mouth. Boom, and he hucks and then he opens. So we already know that. So now here, when I feel his pressure and I can't rock the boat, I'll just keep that pressure on the leg and I start to feel that knee coming up. See how that knee just hooks? And I catch his leg. And I'm just holding it and I'm holding it. And you know, and the thing is, is I might try to like take him that way. See the post? We come back. Now I let go. And I roll him back. And that is a beautiful move. Okay? Let's do that a couple times and then I'll let you spar. Cool? Go. Here, as he is cutting his knee to the mount, I'm taking my knee to my elbow. And if he keeps pushing that foot, that right there is gonna catch. 
right? Now from here, as I catch that, my hand's on his hip and my elbow's on his knee. I just shove this guy through and then you're gonna see my hands that are right here. This one's gonna come under me and this one's gonna get the underhook. And this is where we wanna be, okay? Because this exact, like, uh, mount defense leads us right to this actual. So we wanna be good at just getting here, okay? So I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna let go, hop back off. Here, he's trying to, and two, and he's smashing me. And as he's smashing me, boom, I'm just catching that leg. Here, my hand that's on this hip here goes under his leg. I'm already in the underhook. And then I'm off to the side. Okay, this is where I want to be. This is where the magic's going to happen today. Everybody got it? Now, this is just one entry. Okay? Not saying we've been working half guard like this for the past two weeks. See how he's got me? If I take him this way, he posts, I block the bicep, I get my underhook here, boom, the hand that's here now just comes to here. And then that's how we get there too. So that's the past two weeks. And then we got the new one. Do you guys remember the, the past, the, the, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna get one hand in the, uh, it, it would be the, the equivalent to doing a uh, single leg. Does that make sense? Doing a single leg. So all I'm trying to do is get that underhook and get my hand between the legs. That's our starting point. So you can do it from the cut to the mount, which leads you right to this technique. Or if you're smashed, you can get them to post, block the uh, bicep, get the underhook, and then get into that position. Okay, so that's what we're gonna be doing for the next five minutes. All right, one, two, three. The old head bump. They post their hand, block the bicep, get the underhook. But we wanna get to the hand between the legs and around the leg. And I want you to get your hands just like this, okay? Like a high crotch. Um, so from here, if he's doing it from side control, here, and he's like this, and he starts cutting that mount over, all I'm doing is trying to just get my elbow tucked, right? And then put in my leg here. Because if I keep my foot there, his knee's gonna hit the floor, his foot's gonna flop over, and then it's gonna suck under my butt. We know that that has to happen for him to get to uh, the mount. So as he's doing all that, I just come in, I just pinch, I let his knee touch the floor, and I just pinch, and I just open my leg. Because when his foot goes to flop, blah, I catch it. Now from here, the trick is, is I keep the frame right here, and I'm gonna use my hips, I'm gonna take my hips to the ceiling. But you see how my foot's dug into the floor here? See how all my weight, I'm carrying him. And then from here, I just give him a little shove, and then my hands to here. Now. The problem is, is once I sink his, le his leg between my legs, his knees on the floor, I can't quit moving. Because everybody gets to here and they're like, oh, I got it. Then that shoulder gets repinned. Boom, then he starts fighting his other leg again. And he starts wiggling. See what he does? So I can't admire my work. Once I get to here and I start that hip pop, my hand goes through. I start hugging his butt. Here, I'm up. And I start... See, I whipped him up and then I straighten that leg. Now, I'm gonna switch this leg over. See, I'm holding it with this one. I don't wanna hold it with that one anymore. I wanna switch it to that one. Now from here, I'm gonna find his foot right to there. And I'm gonna hand it off to that one. A lot of people are gonna struggle with this, okay? Because they think that this hand's gotta be up here. Find his foot. Now from here, all I'm gonna do is my free hand right here is gonna trap this right here. I'm gonna lift his leg up and then I'm just gonna start coming up and that leg's locked. And if he gives me any kind of resistance on uh, bending his knee to recapture me in half guard, I just keep my hips down. Then from here, as I come up, I pass it over, collapse his hips, and keep sliding up into my side control, right? Then, I'll cut the knee, boom, he captures my foot, he's coming all the way, and now even like right there, he already just pulls me up, that's thoracic, he slides his leg down and switches his foot over, yeah, right there, boom, he passes my foot over, boom, and then from here, I mean I can't, he's got me in a knee board, 
And then he hops off, bop, and then he's right to there. At any point the top guy can stop you if you stop. So bottom guy don't stop. He cuts that thing. The second you trap his leg, you have already got the underhook. You already got your hand in between the legs. Keep moving. Make them ride the uneven wave or the uneasy wave. Okay? Be underneath them the whole time. Use your legs to pull them up over the top. And once you clasp your hands, whip them up. Get them up on their hands. Feed that foot. And then from there, you lock that leg in place. But the key, the trick is, is the top leg, the overhooking leg. So here, when he comes in, I'm already, that right there, boom. I'm already catching that leg, and I'm already. See here, there's my, there's my high crotch. Foot posted. See how I slid down? I capture this guy right to here. I switch the leg. Now two, if I want to be an a-hole, so I capture that and I crank his knee. Swing that leg through. Then, that was the best one. Because then I got that whip. Because when you come in for a single leg, watch this. I get here. See here? I pick. Wow, if I wanted to go straight high crash, I'd lift his butt up. But I, that's what we're doing. Just get in that position and get him forward, collapse that foot. Go, let's do it. One, two, three. <laughs> All right, so from here, obviously the same setup, he cuts the knee across. I mean, this is just primary. And you see how I'm like turning and I'm just catching this right here? Now, even if my foot gets stuck on the, on the hip right there, all I'm gonna do, you see my leg right here? I'm just gonna swing it back and catch it. Cause he knows better. See what I'm saying? He knows better. He knows that he shouldn't, if his foot, if my knee's stuck right there, that I'm giving him a mouse trap. Okay? So I'm just gonna hold him there with my elbow, swing this leg back and then come back and catch it. Right? Now, from here I got my frame. I'm doing my lift. This hand's already underneath. I'm already here. I'm whipping, see I'm catching it with my foot. I'm whipping him up. Just like this, okay? Now, as I see my feet, they're like kind of like on a um, fire pole or a rope. All I do is just rotate them the other way. See, because now here I'm trying to come up and I'm pulling this leg. But if he starts moving his knee out like that, I can't get him up. See how he just literally opened that knee up and he posted his hand over there. So I'm trying to do that and his hand's posted over top of me. So here, all I'm gonna do is I'm still gonna do the same move. I'm gonna swing my leg up, but you'll notice I come up on my knee and my hand comes out. And I just finish him that way. High step over the top. Boom. Cause that's a common thing. He's gonna pull his knee out. Or two, if he, pulls his, he either pulls his knee out or he pulls his foot out. That makes sense? So instead of bulldozing him over, I push him as hard as I can and I keep the pressure on that knee and I pull myself out. And I get into like a side, like a, uh, like a side to side. But I still got his leg in tangled and I can just pull his knee out and finish him. Okay, this would be the equivalent to, um, we're here like this on our knees and I get to the side and I just need the side tap, okay? So, He's cutting, he's cutting, I capture, boom, I'm here like this. I'm already whipping him up. I captured his foot. See here, I got it right to here. I'm trying to make this work, but he keeps pulling his leg back. So my arm is long, I got nothing. So I just start coming up, pull myself out. Reach across, pull the knee. Boom, I see I already got the underhook, which is awesome. Okay. So I need that person to kind of open up a little bit. Pull your knee away. If you can't push them over, pull you out, come up, get a stronger position, and then push them over. And this is common. It's a common response to the foot crack suit. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Especially with this bottom guy getting the underhook the whole time. Because you got to remember, um, 
when we play a side control game or a half guard game, it's the battle of the underhook. So if we use just our basic, um, our basic uh, 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 entry that we've been doing, I'm sorry. He starts cutting to the mount, I'm starting cutting over, boom, I catch this leg. And then as I start to get to here like this, and I start lifting him up, he now starts to wizard. See right to there? Now, if I hug his lower hip right to there, his wizard is going to be there all the time. If I go up high like that, he's gonna, it's going to have less of a wizard. Okay, but still, I'm still going to have to drop my hand to get down to here. So his wizard, he inserts the wizard now as I'm trying to launch and take all this stuff happening, and he's putting the hips on me. See right there? And I, he's pinning me back down. So as he does this, I'm going to take my elbow right here and pinch it to my lap. I'm going to take this hand back to the knee, and I'm going to start circling into him. And you'll notice that my head just goes between his legs. So if you take your head between his legs and circle out with the other foot, he'll roll right over. But now, the thing is, is when you do this, this is the stuff that I hate about this. Okay, so I'm here. He's got that wizard. He's, he's driving really hard because I'm trying to get in. So I just clamp. I capture his leg or I can grab his knee, okay? And I hold with this foot and I just start circling underneath and I roll him over. But I pull my hand out because I don't want him to be laying on my hand because that stinks. And then two, I just fall right into a wrist lock right there, which is awesome, okay? So as I'm here and my hand comes out and I'm pushing his knee, I back step over to the top, I drive, I clear his hips. And then I'm back into my position. Okay? <coughs> and I'm trying, see I'm trying to like get this one and get his foot. He may not even be giving me his foot. He's just pinning me. So from here, I drive into him really hard and then I just come underneath. You gotta hit him up with that push-pull pressure. Push into him really hard until he pushes your shoulder back down. And then just let go. Okay? See if you can make it work. The other thing is too, is you gotta keep this pinch so good that he can't pull his hand out and pose. Okay? Let's try it. One, two, three. Not a big deal. See my hands? If he pushes a leg down like this, and he starts coming around, and I just catch that half guard, just like literally, like just coming, like you're gonna cut this. Oh, so stay on your knees. Oh. See here, I'll be like this. And see my knee will be right here? See my hand? Or it'll be like that. And he'll be trying to come in, and I'll just kind of come back like that. And then he tries to put pressure down on me. And he's just right into it. And they'll fall right into that underhook. And it's silly. But if you just kind of like hide your hand. See, because look. That's the underhook for him. So if he cuts through, boom, he gets that underhook. But if I put my hand like this, and he's, he, he, he can't, there's no hole there for him to have. And I'm just kind of. So he starts pressuring into my knee, and I, I kind of just push that knee like that. Oh, look at that, I'm already in. And I found my position. Now, it's not gonna work against everybody, but it's there. It's a way to get to the it's a way to get the underhook. Okay? Does that make sense? And there's way more stuff there too. Other things that might happen, like we could be playing like this, and me being more an aggressive half guard. I get a cross grip and I pull him to the side like this, and then he pulls his hand back. And then I just sit up and take it. You see there, I even try to get the roll. If I try to get the roll, and he posts, what, just come back up, and I knee tap him. These all just come together, man. They're literally like, it's literally, it's literally A, B, like that, that, that. Okay? So, let's go ahead, we're gonna do some wrestling rounds. Top guy, oh, you got the bottom. 
Top guy, you're just giving them 50%, okay? You get two options, top guy. So I'm coming into him. Here, I'm kind of like hugging up on him. I can hug up on him this way, right? He starts to rock the boat a little bit. Oh, boom, he gets the post. Oh, he's like that. Oh, it looks to you, I'm already doing this. I'm wizarding him. Oh. Okay? So just start feeding him a little bit. Make it fun, all right? This isn't like throw down half card wrestling. Okay. And uh, Josh is out, so we have numbers. We have numbers. All right, one, two, three. There's two minute rounds. Tight on me, right? Just right here, okay? If I can maybe give him a little side tap, remember this one, and he posts his hand. Boom, my hand comes to here. I frame, I hip out, I put my shin in, okay? This is our Z guard right here. Does this make sense? So I'm just halfway, all right? So our basics. Just right here, give them the old head tap, block the bicep, frame the face, hips out. Now, let me sit for a second. Some people are gonna wanna go there. If you just take your tootsies and cross them, now you're gonna have to do this in a specific order. Bottom, top foot goes on the bottom, okay? Because you gotta be conscious of this knee right here, because when he pops up like that, and I'm kinda lazy with this leg stay up soon, he can step over and knee bar this leg. See that right there? Boom, so he's got that leg. Okay, so we gotta be conscious when we do the Z guard. If you get loose, see, if I keep pressure on him, try to step over, not happening. Okay, it's gonna be way harder, okay? But if I start to, if I start to get lazy and he clears, boom, he can take it. Okay, so I just wanna be conscious of that. So, here. Give me the old snap, one, frame, come back. Now from here, I'm in my position. And you'll notice I'm pinching, I'm crossing my feet, and I'm gonna drive this shit, I'm finding his hip, right there. Okay, and for right there, try to sit on me. All my pressure, I'm just straight and small, my spine hanging out of me. Okay, this first holds them. We have to hold them and move us. Okay, so this is our first position. Right, so let's just practice that and set up to get there, okay? One, two, three. I immediately get to there, okay? And he's already up, and this is where we want him, okay? So I'm already in that position. So just by kind of like being here, just like this, and two, I'll have grips or a collar, right? He starts to push my leg down, boom, I get that leg and I just put that guy in there. And two, I'm not, I'm not down like this, He's gonna smush that, okay? I am finding his hip, connecting to his spine. So, cause now from here, when he tries to wiggle on me, I'm just maintaining all of this. And two, see, I'm just circling. Just for right now, this is just the hold. All right, cool. So, do it from the open guard, and just, as they're starting to cut past and you can't shrimp back, just lock them down with that, with that position. All right, one, two, three. So our goal is to get them back, okay? Now, a lot of times what might be happening is, is we're gonna go with hand can be here, hands can be here, or hand can be in the grip. This is the worst right here, this one, okay? The second thing, so that's this hand, then we want to study this hand. That hand's gonna may touch the knee, right? It may grab my wrist, or it may grab my collar. Okay. So it's three tiers of gripping, right? I don't want to deal with that. So I'm gonna be at the beach. If I'm in like this right to here, unless I really commit to coming in, you can do that. But I don't wanna, I wanna show the out series, that's the in series, right? So, this too prevents getting hit. See, cause I can monitor it, create more distance. My hands are here, if the hand does come. Make sense? If that hand comes, See what I'm saying? So, 
law enforcement that's important. So, when we get to here, hand on the knee. Boom, first one is he's trying to push the knees down and push it, get his body connected. So I'm just gonna cup right back here behind his elbow and I'm gonna pull it and come up. You're out the back door. Now, nobody never said that I have to wait for him to put his hand there, right? Because we could be in tight. I do this, I do this, I push him back. Oh, see, and I just clear the hand. It's my first move. Just get the hand over there. Here, once it's over there, put your hand on it. Axe kick up. And then you're in position. All right? So we give you guys reference points. If he puts his hand right there on that reference point, I just clear it. If his hand's on my head, I just clear it. If his hand's up here, I just clear it. So it's a, th it's a move that works for every tier. But remember, when somebody grabs you, if you don't immediately address the problem, and I mean immediately, not 10 seconds later, every second that he gets to hold is, a, is, is, is a, a one level of strength that he gains. Does that make sense? So the longer he holds my grip, his grip, the stronger he gets, because he's progressing. The faster I break the grip, the weaker he is. Okay, so if you can get it before they have the grip, that's the best. But you're, you're only looking about one to two seconds on the grip break, and then he's got, he's not just got the grip, but he's got everything behind it, all right? So teeter them, boom, get to our posture, they posture up, don't wait, attack that hand. Pull it to the side, ax kick up, you're in behind them. All right, that's our first move. All right, one, two, three. Boom. I'm right to here now. So now, see how his hand's behind me? And I'm having a hard time getting behind it. But what I'm doing is I'm avoiding this hand. Okay? And I'm going to start doing this. And as he starts to address me, and I'm doing this, see how I'm just doing that? I pull my leg out and I pull him back into the closed guard. This is your regard. Because we did a regard, remember? We did a regard on all of them. This is just a different distance. So from here, boom, I'm like that. As I'm framing right here, he says hands behind my back. And I can't get that, I can't get back there. Okay, but I got my frame and I'm holding it. You see how I'm keeping this right here? All I do now is once I get that leg cleared, I let this leg go and I pull this way. That breaks his posture. Okay? Oh, he comes back. I'm already locked up in something. Or my hand is in this collar right here. See, you know, back, back, back. I pull my leg and I pull him this way. Boom, my hand comes right into the collar. Right into a choke. That is the posture break. Does that make sense? But the, the thing is, is just don't shrimp and pull them center line to the guard. Pull them across center line. Put your hand on a collar, then he center lines back up, and that chokes it. Let's do it dumb, right? Oh, one more time, I'll show you so you can see, okay? So I'm here, I get him the old boom, and I'm like this, and he's got this, and I'm driving. Now, now, see the difference in my butt sticking out? I don't want the look from bird's eye view of my butt sticking out. I want to line that up. He's coming around trying to capture this hand. I don't want that, so I just pull my leg out. Boom. Hands in the car, because that hand's posting right now. It's got to post it. As I'm here and he centers back up, and I'm right into my choke, okay? That's just one idea. Or you can attack whatever you want, it doesn't matter. Point is, is the regal, okay? Let's do that, one, two, three. I got maybe two to three more moves that I, just, I want to share with. But I want to make sure too we have an attack. All right, so watch. So a lot of times when the knee shield guard is when I spend a lot of time X choking people. Okay. So how I got there was is I boom, I'm here like this. I get my thing, and I'll immediately do that grip to here. Okay. And a lot of times 
I'll be um, getting this hand back. Now, if they grab your wrist or they got your sleeve, you obviously got to be breaking go breaking grips, okay? But now, too, what I like to do is from here is I'll, I'll, ha I'll hold this, too, and I'll hold him, and I'll still keep that pressure. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit up on my elbow. See what I just did right there? And just get that. You got to be really good at the punch. And I'll punch, and then I'll just chop right to here. And this, once I get to here and I get this chop, the key to making this work is because he'll come back and he'll immediately block my elbow. Right there. That stops. And everybody thinks that the, the, the choke is here. So like, if this is 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 4 o'clock. So if I get to here and I go like that, that starts to suck really bad. But to avoid this, what I do is pull his head forward more and I take my elbow to his sternum. Instead of out here. See here, he can defend that and I'll weasel your head underneath. See all that? So everybody's here, he's got lots of space. But if I pull him down, I take all that space away, okay? And it gets worse. Does that make sense? And it's harder to defend. So don't be like this. Get that elbow in. So my setup from here, we're playing handsies. Playing handsies, I get my grip. I just sit up, I punch him, and I just come in. Now, I literally, bam, right to there. I'll go to the sternum. And then work the clock. It's gonna be harder to deal with. All right? So it's just a fun little choke. I've hit this on everyone. I actually did this to Google one time. It works. So, and Ben from uh, Budokai. He's a poor kid. He likes that. Well, yeah. Uh, poor kid. I had a handful of hair too. Because yeah. he's got his beautiful Goldilocks. And I was like, but this is a good one. And that too, this is a great move in conjunction to the regard. So, bonus clip, as I'm here like this, and I give him that old punch, and I'm here like that trying to make the choke work, and he starts blocking my elbow, and he stops caring about it, I just use it as a disguise, and then still either try to finish, okay? Cool? All right, try it, go. Do all of them. Oh, there we go, I wanna watch. <laughs> so really quick, the death grip. Uh, that, well, we're, we're gonna do two of them. Okay, so here, we're in the half guard. I'm like this. A lot of times, they can grab your pants like that, right? So what I want you to think about is he's holding that, and he's gonna try and cut this knee through. See right there? That's gonna be his move, right? Go back. So as he's got this death grip, I have to, if he's got this grip, this grip has to be broken. Boom. Look at the beach, okay? As he starts bringing his knee up to cut right to there, my knee is gonna come to here, and I'm gonna put it right there, and I'm just gonna push. and I'm away. I was training with my buddy, uh, Chris, on uh, black belt from Northern Kentucky on Friday. And this is all he did to me was this pass. And I literally, for, for a 10 minute round, he couldn't pass my guard. Because every time he would do it, he'd try to do the same pass, and I'm just like this, breaking the grip, breaking the grip. Now from here, now you see how I got that? So I just started doing this now. As I'm pushing with this knee, I'm just wiggling this leg back. He centers up with me, and then I pull it, and then I sweep him every time. And it's there every time. It's okay, Jay. You're, you're, looking, you're looking confused. So we're just here. He's just gonna grab something. Boom, he's got it. You grab that sleeve, you get on the beach. Pull this leg out, and bring it over the top. Now, from here, where's the power? Is my hips. So I'm gonna thrust my hips and drive my knee. Just like that. And I just hang out. Because here, if he comes running around, I just put my knee on the mat. He ain't doing anything to me, he can't. And he just get up. Okay, make sense? Mm -hmm. So that's death grip one. All right, ready, go. So 
this is counterintuitive because everything we've been learning about from this position is get back. Look at the beach. Okay? Huh? Oh, this hand's still holding my grip. So he could be holding me there or he could be holding me on the collar. Okay? So I'm trying to get back. I want to avoid that hand. Now every time I scoot back, remember, this leg becomes more available to get out. But this time we're going to go right into the lion's mouth. So he gets that right there. I'm just going to get the old gentleman's grip right here. I'm going to just give a nice little sleeve and I'm going to clamp. But when I do this, I'm going to start coming up and sitting into it. And my elbow is going to come on the inside of his elbow. So I do what we call an elbow roll. So as I elbow roll, I clamp it down and I want to punch my elbow through that hole right there. My free hand now that's been avoiding contact is now going to shoot in between his legs and I'm going to straighten this leg and I roll through right to there. Boom. Yeah, you don't want to hold on to it. Okay? Because we did the roll under sweep last week, remember? We pushed into him, roll underneath him. This is the same move, it's just a different distance and a different grip. Okay? So we're here, he's got that death grip. I immediately get this. I can't break the grip, right? So here, I hold this tight, I sit up and I get my elbow on the inside of his elbow and punch that through. This hand goes to the inside of his leg as I straighten that one. So I punch up, I straighten this one, and then all I do for momentum, I keep this nice and tight, I use this leg to swing that way, like the crescent kick. Here, as I'm in process, pass the guard. I'm out, I come up inside control. Right? Make that one happen. That's the best one.